Are you in the market for a new GoPro extension arm or pole? Well, GoPro actually has two great options, the three-way and the El Grande, and I'm comparing the two coming up. What's up guys, as usual, I'm Scotty with Scotty Goes Pro, and today's video is a comparison between two of my favorite GoPro accessories, the GoPro 3-Way and the El Grande. So this is not an in-depth review on either one of these accessories by no means. This is strictly just a comparison between the two. I've actually done two videos that are more in-depth comparisons of those two on my channel, and I will post those links in the comment section below so you can check those out after this video. So this video is just strictly to do a comparison between these two products to hopefully help you make a decision on which one you would like to buy. Maybe you don't have either one, maybe you have one and not the other, and you want to try to determine which one better suits your needs because it really just depends on you and what you need. And as usual, I would just like to say that I don't work for GoPro, I'm not an affiliate of GoPro, I don't get paid by GoPro, I'm just a huge fan of their cameras and their products and like to use them in my everyday filming. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this comparison and I'll start out with the specs beginning with the three-way. So GoPro has this item listed as a camera grip, an extension arm, and a tripod. Folding arms make it easy to get selfies without getting the mount in the picture. It extends to 20 inches and collapses down to 7.5 inches. It is waterproof, although it does not float. It has a removable tripod. The handle can detach from the arm and as of today, it is listed as $69.99. Now what you get in the box when you purchase this item is the extension arm, a grip, a tripod, and a thumb screw. So let's compare that to the El Grande. The El Grande is more of a traditional type extension pole. It has a ball and socket design on the end for 360 degree adjustments without having to take the camera off the mount. It has an oversized grip that allows for two-handed use. It is waterproof. Again, it does not float. It does not come with a tripod, although one can be mounted to the bottom. It is sturdy enough to hold the Karma grip. It extends to 38 inches and collapses to 15 inches. And as of today, it is priced for $59.99. Now what comes in the box when you purchase this is the extension pole itself, the swivel base with a thumb screw, and a wrist lanyard. Back when I bought my first GoPro, probably a year and a half, two years ago, the three-way was one of the first accessories that I purchased. And I have used this thing hundreds of times. I loved it and I've gotten my money's worth out of it times 10. Now the El Grande is fairly new. I purchased it about three months ago, but it has quickly become my new favorite GoPro accessory, hands down. So let's take a moment to look at the pros and cons of each one. And this is strictly still just a comparison between the two. This isn't comparing between any other brand. So the pros with the three-way, of course, is that you're really getting three items in one. To me, this is the Swiss army knife of GoPro accessories. You get a standalone grip, you get the extension arm, of course, and you get a tripod. It is very small, it is waterproof, and it's very lightweight. With it being so small, with it collapsing down to seven and a half inches, you can throw this in any backpack, you can put it in your back pocket, it doesn't matter, you can stick it just about anywhere. So now the cons compared to the El Grande is that it's much shorter in length when it's extended. It's only 20 inches compared to the El Grande, which goes up to 38 inches. Also, when it's extended, you have these thumb screws here at the bottom and here in the middle. And it doesn't matter how tight you get this one in the middle, it's still going to bend because it doesn't have any type of like locking teeth here in the middle. So no matter how tight you get this down, it's still gonna move some. It's still gonna have a little bit of play. So it doesn't have a good sturdiness as the El Grande does. And I can give an example of what I mean by this three-way collapsing in the middle. A few months ago, my family and I went to, uh, we stayed in a hotel, we were swimming in the pool. And part of the video I was making was me falling backwards into the pool. So I had the camera out here like this. I wanted to get a selfie shot of me falling back into the pool. So I had it set up just right. I had the thumb screws just as tight as I could get them. But as soon as I hit the water, it just collapsed. So it went from having a good selfie type view to just completely collapsing in my face. So it didn't work out well. However, if I would have had the El Grande at the time or just any other extension pole, I could have used that and I could have that good sturdiness and wouldn't have to worry about it collapsing in my face. Now, the pros with the El Grande is that it has the oversized grip that you can use with two hands. It is very sturdy. The build quality on this thing is amazing. It is waterproof. It has that 360 degree ball joint on the end, which I don't think any other mount, any other company has that. And it's sturdy enough to hold the Karma grip. 
Now the cons compared to the three way is that it only collapses down to about 15 inches. So it's not quite as compact. You can't just throw it in your pocket. You need a bag or something to stick it in and that it doesn't come with a tripod. But if you already have a tripod, this can be mounted to the bottom of it very easily. So what kind of GoPro user do I recommend the three way for? I recommend the three way for the you GoPro users who maybe just bought your first GoPro and you don't have any type of accessories. You don't have a tripod, you don't have a grip, and you don't have any type of extension arm. Like I said earlier, this is a Swiss Army knife of GoPro accessories. So if you don't have any of those, for 70 bucks, you get three different items, and it's, it's amazing. Also, if you don't need that really long 38 inch reach, this is a good option for you. And if you want something lightweight, small, and easy to put away. Now, if you're going to be doing things that are more strenuous, more, um, more impact type of things where you want that good sturdiness, this three way is probably not for you as far as the extension pole is. It's more of a, I would say it's more of a casual type walking around, just kind of filming things like normal, getting the occasional selfie of yourself, just something that's very low key and casual. So I recommend the El Grande to all you guys who already have all those other things. You already have the grip, you already have a tripod, you just want a good sturdy built extension pole to get that long reach of those selfies when you're doing all these high impact activities or you just want that good sturdiness. Also, if you have the Karma Grip and you wanna use the El Grande to attach the Karma Grip to it, to have that extension of that steady cam, then this is a great option for you. So that's pretty much the comparison. Again, guys, if you don't have any of these accessories, you need a grip, you need a tripod, you need an extension arm, I highly recommend getting that three-way. But if you already have all that stuff and you just want the extension pole, go get that El Grande. I'm telling you, it is worth it. The build quality of this thing, the sturdiness, the oversized grip, it just stands out and you can immediately tell a difference between all the other poles out there. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Take some time, browse around the channel, see if there's other things you like. Some other videos I plan on doing in the near future are how to mount your uh, cell phone to your Karma Grip and the El Grande, as well as some tips for the Karma Grip to get those good shots. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or complaints, please don't be afraid to leave those in the comment section below. If you are a current subscriber and you have ideas for videos that you would like to see me make, any type of content that you would like to see, any comparisons of anything, any type of reviews, anything you want, shoot me a message, leave the comments below. If there's anything I can do, I'll try to get that done for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I will see you again soon.